Hello everybody, I am Molda West, and this is Bleak Faith Forsaken once again. Our first boss is right up these stairs, and I think I might be able to get him. It took me throwing my corpse at him many times to get him the first time around, but I think I know what you're all about. Very well, Conrad the traitor. What exactly are you a traitor of, I wonder? What did you do to deserve the title of the traitor? You just slapped me real good with that big ass spear of yours. And, uh oh. I don't want to be too close to him when he does that, because he's got a big old whirlwind around. Now he's throwing grenades. But that's fine, I just need you to swing at me, and then I'll come up and slap you around some. And you cannot parry this guy, and when his spear gets that yellow glow on it, that is an unblockable attack. That much I do remember. In fact, there's another tutorial that pops up that tells you about unblockable attacks, but it only appears if you go a certain path from the beginning. And, oh, that's his jumping attack. With that real choppy animation. Like I said before, this game needs a lot of polish in that regard. Yep. Come on, big boy. Swing your spear round and round. I'll come in and close the distance and slap you a couple of times. So I can... Oop, there's another grenade that leaves a big old whirly-durly on the ground. Stepping in that gives you a status effect. And I don't remember what it is, but I think it slows you down a little bit. And might also cause minor damage over time. So... I don't want none of that going on, especially now that I don't have any restorative fluid on my person. I can only carry two of those at a time, as things currently stand. And I have to get out of battle before it, the ones in my hot bar are replaced by ones from my inventory. That's how this game works. Oop. Okay, I somehow did not get hit by that. Alright. We oh, almost had ya. I almost had ya, but you're doing your jumpy attack now. There we go. Got him. First steps. Why am I getting this achievement now? This is not my first time beating this guy. Anywho. Pretty sure we got his spear out of that. Yep. The... Fausart. I will put that in my secondary main hand. And if I remember how to switch weapons, yeah, there we go. It swings slow, but it does a lot of damage, especially against giants. Now, that ain't how I switch my weapons. That's how you do the heavy attack. Uh, uh, no. I forget how to switch between primary and secondary weapons. I'll figure it out. There we go. I figured it out. That took me a minute. Now, oh shit. I accidentally inverted the fucking camera controls. That is not what I wanted to do. And invert movement axis, camera axis, off. I was looking through the controls to figure that out and must have accidentally ticked that box. But with Conrad the traitor dead, we have his spear and we can move on unimpeded by his assholitude. Also, pretty sure I got a thing out of him that I need to take to a homunculus in order to unlock a perk. 
And I think that's like the only thing you stand to lose if you die before you can get it back to a homunculus. There it is, essence absorbed, and I now have homunculus mirage, which is the thing I was trying to use before when I was uh, thinking of the big guy that I saw on the way here, but whatever. Now let's see, which of these do I want? I think... I will get the Duelist ability. It lets you counterattack much faster after blocking an incoming attack. Which is very useful in a lot of situations. But anyway, we got that. It's time to move on. And before long, we will come to a big-ass central hub-like area. And from there, it gets kind of confusing trying to figure out where to go. Hello, person. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Very enlightening. Anyway, I'm gonna head on across this bridge, and that should put us in the the fucking uh, the hub area I was just talking about. Jesus Christ! It is dark in this climbing hallway here. Okay, now it ain't so dark now that there's this blinding red light. I do like being blinded by red lights, especially when it causes the frame rate to just shit all over itself as it loads in the new area. So, if I could actually see a damn thing, I'd have some idea as to how close I am to this edge here that I didn't go charging off of all recklessly. And we've got another hallway. And I think I hear footsteps coming from behind me. Or maybe that's just my own armor clinking around in my ears. I do have some thick metal boots on. And this is way too dark. I need to actually see something. Where is the brightness? I think gamma is the brightness. Eh. Uh, at doesn't did I actually save that or did I just cancel that by just hitting B out of the menu no I did not save that I gotta go all the way down and then hit save and apply and yes there we go okay much better I can actually see what the hell I'm doing we're in a cramped ass corridor here that dude looks dead and I Gonna come on over here. Another guy just sitting here. But he's moving around, so he isn't dead. And I found a ring of gluttony, apparently. I don't know what that does, but I'm going to put it on. Whoa, that is way zoomed in on my body. Like, super zoomed in. Ring of gluttony, ability, ring of gluttony. Well, that's very enlightening. Anyway, I got it on now. So, if we come this way, there's a ladder. I do like ladders. They help me reach places that I can't reach by just walking around. Got another thingy here. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't know what that twing thing was. But I picked up items, and I was... Thinking because of that little effect there that I might have accidentally mapped item usage to the Y button, where is, which is what I'm now using to pick things up. And now we've got a marker showing up. Okay, it's gone now. But here we are in the big old center hub area. Now that marker's back since I'm standing next to a homunculus and it's pointing me way up there. And we've got this person. Say what now? I updated the locations of the malfunctioning modules in the terminal. 
Anytime you link to a terminal, you should be able to see the module. Uh -huh. I must advise utmost caution, as I have surveyed the area and it is infested with aggressive mutations. The radiation leaking out of the anomaly is causing a strong disturbance in the causal field. We should leave this place as soon as possible. The readings are unlike anything I've seen. The data is completely unstable as I am still unable to upload it to deciphering. Can you improve my things? And yeah, upgrade the gear. By coming to the handler, it's still ridiculously zoomed in on my body. We can craft anomalous crystals that have different effects. And then slot them into open sockets on our equipment. But most of the sockets we have available are locked. So they are not available. And the ones that do have available sockets already got something in them. Like this Retagon Saber. It's got a plus 3% attack power, which I like. And eh, Handler does not have enough knowledge to do that. I'm pressing the wrong damn button. But yeah, it's already got a crystal in one slot, and I don't have any new crystals to go jamming all up inside of it. So, judging from what the handler just said, that gear looking thing that's 2,000 meters away must be one of the malfunctioning modules. That is nice. Very nice. And now that I've stepped away from the homunculus, I don't know where it is. Yeah, place homunculus. I can hold down the Y button, which is what I apparently mapped that to without realizing it. I can hold down the Y button to throw down a homunculus mirage that I can respawn at. So I have my own custom checkpoint, and I can go ahead and delete it whenever the fuck I please. But I have to go back to an actual flesh and blood homunculus to get the mirage back. You only get one mirage when you step away from your actual homunculus. And we've got a cheap ass looking robot here. And I need you dead. Very dead. Quite the durable little bastard you are. And I keep... I think I might have used another item. Or maybe that's... I need to take another look at the controls. I might have remapped things that I didn't want remapped. Alright. I've fixed my controls. And that is a very large individual over there. We'll deal with him sooner or later. Probably sooner. Because we're getting pretty close to him. And that is one dead ass robot. And there it goes doing that effect again when I pick things up. That might be a glitch. They might have made picking things up do that in an update, but I'm pretty damn sure that I don't have any item usage things mapped to that button. Unless... I think I know what's going on here. One of the pieces of equipment I'm wearing must be healing me a tiny bit whenever I pick something up. That's probably what's going on here. Uh-oh. That's a bad position to be in. He's a trying to explode on me and being stuck on a little lip there could be problematic. Okay, now I'm up here. Was starting to think I was trapped down there, but you can actually climb up on certain ledges, which is nice. And let me take another look at this. One of these. Wait, the Ring of Gluttony. Maybe that's what's doing that. Probably restoring some of my blue meter down there in the bottom left corner every time I pick something up. That's gotta be what that is. It's gotta be. And I hear dudes, yep, it's another one of these axe-wielding, cheap-ass Terminator-looking guys charging up on me. 
but you don't get a chance to do anything because I'm slapping your little robo cheeks while I'm just beating your ass and you can't break out of it. You gotta have some poise there, brother. Now let's see if this big man can provide any better challenge. And he's also got a little robo-buddy over there who's probably gonna show up and try to cause problems for me. Now, come on, mister. Oh, yep, he's about to explode. Yeah, stupid blowing yourself up like that ain't gonna do you no good. And... Now, let me just whip out my, uh, okay, I've forgotten how to switch my weapons. Yep, that ain't it. Well, it would seem fixing my controls made it to where I don't know how to switch weapons anymore. I was gonna use this spear on ya, but that's fine. And if you just go stepping over the edge, that makes it a lot easier for me to get rid of you because I don't even have to fight you then. Now, uh, no sir, weapon changing, I have not figured out yet. I thought I'd figured it out, but it turns out I just fucked my own controls up. That's just the unfortunate way that it is sometimes. There you go, a nice little heavy attack to both of your leggy boys, each leg having its own separate health bar. And you'll understand why that is in just a moment. But I gotta knock you down is what I gotta do. As soon as one of them leggy health bars is all depleted, you will be in a nice, vulnerable state. And I think it is depleted, you just gotta finish your attack animation. And... Yeah, I know how game works, get tutorials out of my face. Now that his leg is all wounded, I can jump up on his back and stab him in the shoulders with my little knifey boy. Yep. That's how fighting giants works in this game. You latch on to them and stab the shit out of them. Now, hurry up and die. Except, he's not dead. I gotta knock him down again, climb up on his back, and stab him in the other shoulder. Because most giants have two or more weak spots that need to be stabbed a bunch like that. Kind of annoying. They really only need the one weak spot. But they don't do it that way now, do they? And let's just bring him down again so we can stab him in his other shoulder. And be done with him. Forever. And he will never bother us again except he... He will. If I end up dying or coming back to this spot later. Because that's just the way it is. Yep, finish your attack animation and then you'll fall down on your knees. There he goes. He's like, uh oh, forgot my legs all injured. Now let me come over here to this shoulder and start stabbing you there because that's the one that's still got juice in it. Give me that sweet giant shoulder juice. And then you'll be all dead and sleepy. And you won't be causing me any more problems. That fucker just knocked me off his shoulder. These kinds of dudes ain't supposed to be able to do that. Ah, oh, look at you. You just broke that piece of wall over there. Come on, get your ass away from the damn ledge. I don't want to drop off of your shoulder only to fall off and die. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, come on over to this shoulder because that's the one I was stabbing on earlier. And that should be the end of you. There you go. He's dead. And I got an intestinal parasite out of him. That's a fair trade. 
Anyway, I'm gonna come and grab this doohickey. Some nice things going on here, and there's another robot here that I need to get rid of. And once you're all dead, I'll just take your shit. I got a diary fragment out of you, and now I'm going to go ahead and... The homunculus mirage cannot be placed with hostels nearby. What hostels? I killed the giant and the two robots that were here on this bridge. Let me put my boy down. There he is. Look at him all wiggly, wiggly, wiggly woo. He's a very wiggly boy. And now I will respawn here if I die, which is very possible. And I think this might not exactly be the best spot for it. But since it's here, the enemies can't respawn in this spot when I die. And I think the place I'm heading toward, that tunnel right there, is just going to loop me back around to the central hub. Which makes this place very labyrinthian and kind of hard to navigate. But what the fuck ever, we'll figure that shit out in the next episode. Because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.